Think about a nice fly ball in baseball. The ball follows a path that arcs up to a highest point, and then falls in a path that mirrors its rise into the air. That path is a U shape that will be very important to us today as we graph quadratic relations. Look at the quadratic relation y is equal to x squared. How do we know that it's a quadratic relation? The highest power of one of the variables is 2, and the other variable has a power of 1. Yes, very good. The relations that we will graph today will all be quadratic. Why would we want to graph these relations? Quadratic relations are used in many applications in science, business, medicine, and even sports. By graphing the relations, we can answer important questions to help us solve problems. Let's graph y equals x squared. First, we need some points that are on the graph. Well, if x equals negative 3, y would be negative 3 squared, or 9. So, negative 3, 9 is a point on the graph. Negative 2 squared is 4. So, negative 2, 4 is on the graph. If x is negative 1, y is 1. Plot negative 1, 1. 0 squared is 0. Plot 0, 0. If x is 1, y is 1. Plot 1, 1. 2 squared is 4. So, 2, 4 is on the graph. If x equals 3, y would be 3 squared, or 9. So, 3, 9 is a point on the graph. I think we have enough points now. There's a definite pattern here. Let's connect the dots. You! I see the pattern, too! This U-shaped curve is called a parabola. This is just one example of a parabola, but all the graphs of quadratic relations of two variables will look something like this one. Let's describe this parabola. What are some things that you notice about the parabola? It has a bottom! He means it has a lowest point, the point where the parabola turns. The point where the parabola turns is called the vertex. For this parabola, the vertex is the point 0, 0. Let's use the letter V to represent the vertex. Is this relation a function? Yes. How can you tell? Because this parabola passes the vertical line test for functions. That's right. This relation is a function. Every vertical line through this parabola intersects the parabola in only one point. I noticed how pretty the parabola was. If you drew a vertical line through the vertex, that line would act like a mirror. One side of the parabola is a mirror image of the other side. Yes, the parabola is symmetrical. And that vertical line through the vertex is called the axis of symmetry. Now, let's graph the equation y is equal to the opposite of x squared. Well, if x equals negative 3, y would be the opposite of negative 3 squared, or negative 9. So, negative 3, negative 9 is a point on the parabola. Negative 2 squared is 4. The opposite of 4 is negative 4. So, negative 2, negative 4 is on the parabola. Hey, this is kind of like the last parabola, except now all the y-coordinates are negative. So, plot negative 1, negative 1, 0, 0, 1, negative 1, 2, negative 4, 3, negative 9. It's the first parabola flipped over. Good observation, Ferd. How are these two parabolas similar, and how are they different?